All right, guys, new week and a lot of data which I have to put right up your brains for the rest of the week itself. So without any further ado, I'm going to be making this video very, very swift. So guys, hit that like and hit that bell icon because I know a lot of a lot of you have not done that. So hit that bell icon as well, right? So let's take a look at the first website, BYBT. Now this exact, this is the exact piece of information that I would be looking forward towards if I wanted a culminated data of all the exchanges which allows you to go for longing or shorting Bitcoin, right? Essentially, your BTC futures data is right here at this website. So essentially, guys, I'm not trying to sponsor this website, right? I'm just trying to tell you guys to mine relevant data, mine relevant information for your own biases. So if you can see right here how Binance is just separated out. It's just, it's an outlier. It's a plain blank outlier, guys. None of the other exchanges even close to what is happening on Binance, guys. Essentially, which is why we've got to put a lot of, uh, lot of, lot of uh, weight into whatever is happening on Binance itself, right? So let's talk about the combined data, guys. So every single exchange open interest is inclining towards the upside as the price action is going towards the downside. Now that's crazy, guys. That's crazy. Now, if you see every single exchange going for the same, now even CMEs, guys, where most of the professors are trading, right? Now, if you see culmination of this exact data where most of the exchanges are having similar kind of bias, that signifies more and more uh, towards the fact that this exact price range is very critical, guys. You can see every single exchange is aligning with similar bias, guys. The data in front of us is telling us that most of the exchanges are having similar, similar trading behaviors going on at this current moment. It reinforces the fact that $30,000, $31,000 as well, this entire downside range is very significant, guys, very significant. So essentially, we can bounce crazy from these levels or we can break down crazy from these levels all the way towards $27,000 levels or maybe $25,000 levels as well. Now, me personally, yes, I would be putting a lot of weight into $27,000 levels as that is your 618 golden pocket, guys. And we have not literally retested that golden pocket ever since we started this freaking bull market itself, right? So $27,000, yes, certainly a level which I will be putting a lot of focus into, right? So before jumping on to some deep analysis on Binance itself, let's take a look at how the trend is going about just by the futures open interest right here, guys. You can see every single time before your move to the downside, even throughout that bull run that we were looking at, yes, your open interest had a spike going on, right? As soon as your open interest spikes onto some crazy level, that is when you see that move to the downside. Every single time, guys, open interest spike, then you go down. Open interest spikes up, then you go down. Open interest spikes back again, then you go down. Even in this little high right that we put all the way across 41,000 BTC was your little uptick on the open interest. And after that, we went down back again, right? So essentially, for your breakdown, for your breakdowns in the price action, this is the signature which has been play, playing out again and again, right? Do you see this right here? Guys, me personally, I do not see this, right? I don't see that signature going on. I don't see that exponential rise in the open interest, which would add up to the fuel. If you want to break the floor to the downside, you want fuel, guys. You want fuel, right? We are dealing with the support right here. And if you really want to break the support, this is a humongous, $30,000 Bitcoin is a humongous support. And I don't, I don't think, just judging by the open interest data, breaking the support to the downside is going to be that simple, guys, as of now. As of the price action behavior right now, right? So let me just let me just let me just completely extend this one, guys. Yeah, yeah, this is completely flattened out. You don't see this when you break down. So essentially, what I would be looking forward towards is a spike in open interest, a, a little abnormal spike in the open interest, and then we can maybe talk about this floor being taken down, right? Until then, guys, I think, yes, we're going to be more, more sideways, I guess, right? All right, now, next up, we have data coming from Binance Open Interest, Binance Futures Open Interest, right? Now, essentially, guys, during the capitulation, your open interest was somewhere alongside 24,000 BTC, right? That was when Bitcoin went all the way down towards $30,000 levels, and that happened in one single day. And your open interest got shaved off by crazy amounts, guys. Holy crap, that was just... 60, I, I guess it was somewhere wrong size, 68 to 70,000 BTC in your open interest on Binance itself. And when we got shaved down, it went all the way down towards 30,000 BTC in open interest. Right now, we have been on this range. We have been on the 65 to 68,000 BTC open interest range for a very long time, guys, very long time. Now, remember, this is the exact number from which the entire crypto market started breaking down. So essentially, guys, what what we can conclude with right here is the fact that your 65 to 70,000 BTC as your open interest on Binance is is your is your how do I put it in words man holy crap is your essential area of um, potential activities which could come in the market which could which could happen in the market right now once you start seeing your open interest spiking towards sixty eight thousand dollar levels essentially that is the moment where is where the market could either break to the upside or simply go to the downside right 
we are in the range we are in the same range back again and if we dig deep more into the long shot ratio guys what do we see right here this is crazy guys we are looking at a crazy spike of imbalance right here crazy amount of long positions okay now this is another contrary indicator and i have to talk about this in the coming videos as well guys as when you see this signature going whenever you see the long accounts going to the downside that is when your up moves are happening guys that is when your up moves are happening right no matter how crazy this sounds this is how it works this is how it works so essentially when you see the signature going to the downside when you see the signature curving to the downside that is when bitcoin maybe starts picking up that is when bitcoin starts going to the upside now guys i will dig deep into the mechanics in some other video as to how this long short ratio is working what i oh, all right let me just let me just talk, talk about a little summarized outlook this is the fuel guys you want this fuel right you want this fuel rise to the upside and when your fuel kind of flattens out that is when bitcoin goes to the upside that is when bitcoin's price action goes to the upside now essentially we are building a fuel guys by this signature right here i do believe that we are building up signature uh, <laughs> we're building a fuel right around thirty thousand dollar levels for a potential up leg guys now believe it or not i mean this sounds really stupid and if we just talk about the price action there is no support there is no support none whatsoever guys i think you will be exhausted trying to draw support lines but you will not be able to pinpoint that exact support where the price is going to bounce and make all of you millionaires i don't think that's going to happen like that crypto markets will not make things simpler uh, will not make things easier for you right okay okay all right so let's conclude this one right here guys you are looking at 65000 btc as open interest back again which is your potential area of new activity taking place in the market so essentially guys either we are going to break down and go all the way down towards 20 uh, 27000 dollar levels from this exact moment or we are going to play out that daily bullish divergence or head towards your 38000 dollar levels guys 38 to 40000 dollar levels to the upside right okay so all right all right all right let's take a look at this as well this is your btc cmes guys cmes open interest right now we do not have data from this exact date guys we have data from 16th of july unfortunately right now what we saw was a decline in open interest guys all right now a decline in open interest followed by a little spike in the open interest from binance itself and various other exchanges guys now this is <laughs> i can't believe i'm saying this this is the exact point of the price action where your institutional mindset and your retail mindset in terms of the futures trading is aligning guys this is aligning right here i mean this moment is kind of the culmination of all your wrecked brains and all your smart brains we are at this level we are at this level where most of your energy is right here right here i mean the market could either break down crazy or market could either bounce crazy from these exact points guys why do i say this why do i say this? because most of the professional trading is also pointing out towards your general rise in open interest guys with rest of the retail uh, with rest of the retail exchanges right both the things are aligning both the things are aligning which could which could cause for a concern or maybe a cause for opening our bottles of champagnes and partying i guess for the rest of the week right all right guys but if we jump onto the price action there is nothing goddamn bullish about it there is nothing bullish about it and to be honest with you this is this is a breakdown right here happening in front of our eyes guys immediately after closing this candle right here we're going down right here and we do not have any bullish divergence none whatsoever guys none whatsoever so as of now we are testing the thirty thousand five hundred dollar levels guys remember this level remember this level um nope i don't have the guppy back again let me just try to put this guppy super guppy real quick real quick real quick real quick all right so let's take a look at the weekly time frame real quick right here so there we go guys there we go this weekly candle the, the previous weekly candle close was not able to close below thirty thousand five hundred dollar levels as that was the indication that i was looking forward towards right once we start taking this one to the downside once we start closing weekly candles towards these areas essentially below thirty thousand dollar levels as a whole on a weekly closing basis that could indicate that yes we're going to be continuing down all the way towards twenty seven thousand dollars at first and if we are unable to hold that level as a support yes guys you know the deal right we're going to be coming back all the way down towards your twenty five twenty four thousand dollar levels right Right? how do we say this why do we say this because of the goddamn fucking vpvr for you guys we got a volume vortex guys there's a simple crazy amount of vortex right here what essentially there's no volume there is no volume between 28000 and 23000 bitcoin guys now no matter how many pinpointed areas of interest i talk about if i just take a look at the volumes itself 
we have to goddamn get supported from these levels we have to get supported from thirty thousand five hundred dollar levels on a weekly closing basis right if we are unable to do that guys look there is no volume here there's no volume right here all right now this is ftx if i even talk about btc usdt on binance i think we're going to be looking at a similar signature right here right okay so a lot of trading happening uh, happened on binance on this level which is why we're not going to really consider this level guys this is an obvious support right ten thousand btc is a obvious support so let's just not even talk about that so let's see what's going on right here in context of the breakout right here so this is this is the breakout region right here guys the previous all-time high was obviously around twenty thousand dollar levels and this is exact point of volume right here as well so if we lose this which i do believe we are already doing this guys we could come back all the way down towards that first $27,000 little teeny tiny bit of volume with your 618 golden pocket right here which is not a big support and if we lose this one on a weekly basis guys we are going to be teleporting down all the way towards $23,000 levels Bitcoin right now essentially all of your bull market corrections uh, they do stop around 78 to 80 percent right 70 78 to 80 percent so guys essentially if we are canceling out the bull market guys this could be canceled out all right <laughs> what a vague thing to say but yeah guys you're essentially bull market bias that is determined by guppy itself why do i say of that let me just bring about blx index real quick blx come on holy shit what okay let me be very cautious here all right <laughs> there we go there we go so Every single time, guys, every single time your bearish bias, like your major, major downtrend starts once we, once we start violating the lower side of the guppy itself, right? That is when your market is like, all right, all right, let's get into some hibernation and then let's wake wake up about like a couple of years later where we can accumulate bitcoin for less amount of money and maybe just sleep throughout the rest of the year right guys look even if you sleep throughout the rest of the year in terms of your accumulation ranges you're going to be picking up bitcoin and some crazy evaluated values which is going to be certainly lower than this one and it's going to be crazy values right so that is the bigger mindset to have your point of exit was right here and maybe your point of entry would come back all the way towards 10,000 BTC down the line guys but the point of this video is not to speculate the point of this video is to see for ourselves what is goddamn happening right so guys so guys so, okay now this is not updated right here the BLX index is going to be updated later down the line by the end of this week itself but guys the weekly candle closed somewhere around these levels and currently on the current price action we are right at the bottom side of guppy guys and we can see with the history again and again the the bottom side of the guppy in the first and the foremost retest after your rejection after your blow off tops the first support is always held guys the first reaction towards the downside retest is always held and we go for a little bounce guys we go for a little oversold bounce and test some key levels right the 600 pockets that are essentially so every single time that is happening every single time that is happening guys so what is going to be different this time i look guys if you just go by the history being repeating itself again and again i don't think it's going to be different this time i think at the first and the foremost pass until your weekly candles are closing above thirty thousand five hundred dollar levels we're going to bounce unfortunately for all the bears and all the people who try to take sides it's going to be a mess right essentially guys there's one more fact that you don't have to take sides just sway with the market guys it's not a rocket science sway with the market when you see clear direction with your own uh, uh, system coming to fruition i think you will pull the trigger and let your risk reward management do its own thing and probably keep your hands below your goddamn ass so that you don't do anything about it right now a lot of us do have that habit guys now i also had that habit right once we jump onto the trade immediately you take the trade and immediately the next goddamn minute your trade <laughs> the market fucking goes against your trade right so what what do you do <laughs> exit you close the position and the immediate next minute it goes to the upside back again that's called chickening in chickening out chicken in and chicken out essentially a lot of reasons we had it. essentially you're not accepting the risks before jumping onto the position and essentially you've not worked on your risk to reward system which is why you are chickening in and out of the market again and again guys this was something which i had to put a lot of focus into and guess what guys it is very simple to be done <laughs> It's very easy. All you have to do is be goddamn disciplined about your own trading and not step and not go ahead of yourself, right? Don't 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 jump ahead of yourself. Just just don't know your limitations and maybe work on the limitations before jumping ahead of the market and you yourself. Alright, guys, no pep talks for this video. I promised myself I will not do that ramble, right? 
okay okay i think the guppy on the daily is not going to be that relevant for that matter because our areas of significance is going to be to the downside guys all right so i was talking about how the context of the lower side guppy is supporting the price action again and again so for that matter let's jump on to btc usdt btc usdt back again real quick and let's see where your lower side yes guys we are testing the lower side of guppy right now okay so this weekly candle has just started with a bearish bias so if i want to talk about any move to the downside guys yes i will putting a lot of focus into yes bitcoin continuing its move to the downside but i would not be expecting this weekly to close sorry my bad this weekly to close below thirty thousand five hundred dollars if we do that yes we are going to be coming on to this volume node yes your trend is going to be towards the downside and yes most likely a lot of things will confirm guys okay now there's one more thing uh, that we have to check out for this video guys that's going to be a bollinger band yep 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 check this out guys holy fucking shit check this out previous weekly candle had this bollinger band at $26,000 levels and with this candle closure we took bollinger band down all the way towards the middle uh, <laughs> towards this volume support right here at 23,000 BTC that's crazy guys that's crazy I mean that's crazy bearishness formulation I mean I, 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 I just by looking at how this one is posturing out to be i mean this is not nice guys this one is just pointing out towards the fact that we are strengthening to the downside on the weekly time frame itself i mean just taking a look at the bollinger band yep we are stranded <laughs> okay okay what next come what am i saying man holy shit what comes next is going to surprise us all i guess i mean that's what's going to happen in the market right let's take a look at some key areas of fibonacci interest right here and let's see if it's aligning with the deep retrace level guys the volume load is aligning with the deep retracement levels now uh, okay now we are far beyond your lower bollinger band being supported by the 600 retracement guys now this is one factor that will kind of tell us that the 600 would not be a lot of would not be a lot uh, would not be of lot of significance guys henceforth right why was this significant because we were reinforcing this one with the lower bollinger band we had multiple arguments and we had a little volume node support as well we had two arguments that this level is going to be supported now once we look at this strength to the downside i mean that's crazy guys that's that kind of really kills the bias that 600 is going to be held if we come all the way down towards these levels after the weekly candle closes but yeah guys essentially this is formulating this is brewing up for a downside strength i think a miracle can save i think a bear trap i think extreme crazy manipulation moves on btc can save the price action and take its uh, and, and take the price action all the way towards the upside now if we just trade by the momentum and if we just take a look at the price action how this one is formulating its own momentum this one is to the downside guys this one really is strengthening to the downside this price action is reinforcing to the downside right now this weekly candles open is very significant as it is clearing up a lot of bias as well guys now the three days also not looking nice everything is wanting to trend to the downside it looks to me like and your rsi is in complete bear control zone on the three day time frame itself not having any any divergence under formulation guys now i'll be jumping on to some small time frame analysis as well for that matter but yep you're far away from the grind itself right now the daily time frame let's see what's happening on the daily oh okay okay not not a signature which i would be wanting to look at guys okay so on my previous videos remember how i was talking about the fact that once we start clearing this grind to the upside that could signify strength coming from thirty thousand dollar levels and that could that could mean that yes we could go all the way towards thirty six thirty eight thousand dollar levels once we start trending above this grind line which started right at the tesla pump right here guys this this daily grind on rsi is very significant so okay now the open interest data is telling us that yes this support is going to get supported once again whereas your momentum data and your all the strength oscillators are telling us that market is formulating a new a fresh new bias to the downside now that's crazy guys that's crazy right now this rsi right here is not a signature which i would be looking forward towards this rsi signature is not essentially health and fitness right this is direct behavior by, by rsi getting rejected uh, getting rejected right here was not good guys all right so what what can essentially happen is that one once, uh, not once we can continue this momentum to the downside essentially the price action can be pulled to the downside with your true strength indicator your tsi also having a bearish cross multiple things annihiling volatility still under expansion yes your caretaker rsi still pointing out towards the downside guys technical indicators here we go guys technical indicators are down every technical indicator is down on the daily time frame itself the open interest on the other hand well 
is telling you something else to be honest with you <laughs> which is why guys this level is very significant and most of the price action guys let's just accept and let's just admit that we are not here to predict the market right we are not here to goddamn be right or wrong i was right i was exactly right i did this i said this so bitcoin did this as well fuck no fuck no bitcoin did what market wanted to do guys market is a spirit bomb nobody knows spirit bomb nobody will ever know spirit bomb and if you try to know spirit bomb and if you try to be right or wrong i don't think you will come out profitable in the long haul guys what we are trying to formulate right here is our own biases and we are trying to support these biases with facts and figures not with hypothetical hypothetical prediction bitcoin will be at this exact point at this exact date and this is the friday fuck off man not going to work like that things will not work like that okay what we have to accept as traders is that the directional bias will be set in by the market participants right and it's not going is set in by your bias or my bias it's going to be a culmination of all the energy which is there in the market and that is going to give us direction guys not anybody's prediction so stop using that word called prediction all right traders don't predict traders don't predict guys analysts predict we are here to trade these markets all right we are not here to be right or wrong we don't want to get that high by getting right, by being right or wrong in the market we don't want that for ourselves guys we just want to stick to facts and figures and the facts the technical facts are pointing out towards a continuation down move right whereas your other factors like the open interest on the futures is telling us that maybe we bounce first so if the market really starts bouncing from these levels and confirms this bullish divergence guys we're going to be playing that up move whereas if the market continues going down if the market takes out $30,000 levels on a daily closing basis and start trending below the daily downside lower, lower bollinger band we're going to be going down with the trend guys we're going to be trading down with the trend right we're not here to be right or wrong we're just here to make money guys all right that, i mean as simple as it can get but guys i think this video is going to be pretty fruitful for for all of you as we did to uh, guys we took a look at crazy amount of damage on bitcoin itself and i think um, i think you should what you should do is you should formulate your own bias right not being influenced by any other youtuber or me as well for that matter i'm just here to present information and i am formulating my own biases and so should you formulate your own biases look at the market very objectively and look at the uh, look at the general landscape right and when you see that that thing being reinforced with your own analysis just go for it and let your risk management system do its thing keep your hands below your fucking butt and sit and watch your position play out i guess right all right guys i think that's been it for bitcoin's analysis right here let's see what do we have next all right let's talk about this as well guys grayscale bitcoin trust printing in another weekly candle at red holy crap guys look like little, little, little guys look uh, now, now now here's a little fundamental um, uh, uh, fundamental analysis which i spoke about um, on my previous video guys look grayscale bitcoin trust unlocking 40000 bitcoins is not bullish guys that is not bullish right why do i say this guys look look, look. just let's just let's just talk about general human behavior let's talk about general human behavior so a lot of people would get rid of their long term investments when either they are in need of something or either they are skeptical about their investment right so why the heck would out of why the heck would grayscale bitcoin trust unlock 40000 btc out of nowhere why the heck would grayscale btc do that guys i think i think the clients have a higher inclination for let's just say for the unlocking of bitcoin guys as as they want to sell essentially as they want to sell guys and most likely they want to get rid of that holding for the long term guys unfortunately this is how i look at this situation right here you can formulate your own opinions own thought process own biases but grayscale unlocking 40000 bitcoin is not bullish it is not bullish guys that's not bullish at all from any angle to be honest with you right we can bounce right here we can fucking go towards 100000 dollar levels grayscale bitcoin can go all the way towards 100 reads as well guys i would still not change my opinion as the, as to the investment perspective as to the investment investors behavior right you want to unlock your hard earned savings when you want to secure profits or you want the money in terms of your needs guys and grayscale unlocking 40000 bitcoin is not bullish for bitcoin guys that's that's not bullish unfortunately no and the price action is kind of confirming that guys only <laughs> holy crap okay let's take a look at this right here so right from this rejection high coming in at bitcoin as well somewhere alongside 55000 dollar levels as well i guess so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and we're going to be opening a new weekly candle guys 12th weekly candle could be pro could potentially be opening on red guys so 
your previous three months have been on red on GBTC on grayscale Bitcoin with only one single candle being your fucking rejection top right here and continuing the price action to the downside. Now, this is not a piece of health and fitness, guys. This is essentially, I mean, look, I don't think if we are blowing off of top right here, we are diverging on the in institution, guys. Now, you can tune into the previous videos as well where I talk about how the divergence between the institution and the retail started happening, guys. Grayscale put in a top right here and this top was way lower than this top, whereas the tops that were being put on Binance was higher than all of these tops guys which kind of gave us the fact that yes your institutional investment institutional investment perspective is kind of fading down and most of the money which is circling across the market and actively participating in the market is not institutions anymore guys it is your retail crowd and look guys I, I, I'm going to be plain blank straight honest to you Michael Saylor does not know what he's doing Michael Saylor's mind is all right guys this is my strict strong behavior strong opinion right here and look guys I don't mean ill for anyone but I, I i do feel that it's unfortunate I, I i personally feel it's really unfortunate that we have people like michael saylor trying to be bitcoin fucking maximalist man holy shit man guys I, I i think there's an interview i think there's an interview that benjamin cohen conducted in into the cryptoverse itself and i think that that is where things get pretty clear that michael saylor does not know shit Unfortunately, that's the case. Okay, guys, let's take a look at MSTR, micro strategy, on, on, on the bigger picture right here. Guys, this is a pump and dump right here, guys. This is this is this is going to be, holy goddamn fucking shit! This is going to be a pump and dump back again. This is going to be a pump and dump back again, guys. A person who. <laughs> All right. I, okay. Now this is such a bad thing. I mean, look, guys, I don't want to be attacking somebody um, personally for that matter, but I do feel that the way your company is functioning kind of reflects on the facts and figures. And what do we have right here, guys? We have facts and figures. Fucking micro strategy for you is pump and dump, guys. And uh, holy shit, I think I I've been working on one thing. <laughs> I should not abuse a lot in my videos, but this video is all about. It has been all about fucking goddamn fucks, shit fucks like Michael Saylor is fucking things for us, guys. <laughs> I guess I mean, that's the thing which is happening right here. So essentially, my theory for this one right here, why did we see a pop in the micro strategy itself um, um, onto this price action, guys? Because micro strategy showed some interesting investment behavior right here by putting in a deep amount of money into Bitcoin itself. And when Bitcoin started rising and when most of the interest all across the market started aligning with how you should long the fuck out of Bitcoin, yes, guys, micro strategy had that validation and that took the interest entire stock price all by this I, I, look 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 bhai sahab ye 10 guna hua hai theek hai ye 10 guna upar gaya hai holy crap man this stock did a 10x micro strategy did a 10x with bitcoin itself guys i think this is the fucking time this is the perfect time to exit micro strategy and forget this one for good forget this gigantic piece of shit for good guys i'm talking for i'm talking from a complete technical perspective and i don't see anything bullish about it guys now to hell with fundamentals to hell with whatever they are strategizing just just by looking at how this one is behaving in the market is not good guys not good all right that's it that's that's going to be it about bullshitting on the fundamentals of of the retail institute sorry about the institutional uh, the people in our space right here guys this is it this is it. i'm not going to talk more about these things all right now next up we have btc cmes guys btc cme is also breaking below starting in a new trend right here i think the audio for this video is not going to be that nice it's going to be uh, because I did scream and shout for this video, guys. I'm being myself for a way after a very long time, I guess. All right, so BTC CME is not opening nice, guys. This is, this one is not looking strong, to be honest with you. Uh, this floor has been taken down right here. I mean, the new weekly candle starting in a new bias, which is to the downside, guys. Again, back again. Look, every technical aspect is telling us that the move is going to be towards the upside. Whereas this is a little interesting, guys. This is this is a pure fucking blank outlier right here. Why the fuck this one is tilted towards the upside? Nobody got that. Those, right now the the, uh, the caretaker rsi is telling us that the momentum is waning here momentum is waning right here so essentially guys now that analysis now this piece of indicator indication could go to shit once we start we can below this one right here so essentially if bitcoin cmes start trending below twenty nine thousand dollars per bitcoin itself that would mean that you do not have to put a lot of weight into momentum curving to the upside guys until then until we are staying above this one on a week basis yes this one could prove out to be true guys and look guys this is the start of the week right here 
what what i can tell you guys what i can tell you what i can factually confirm you uh, for that matter we have to jump out of btc usdt right here what i can tell you is that in a bear market in a bear run guys in a bear run like for a downturn like this or a downturn like this what is actually happens that when your weekly candle is opening bearish right when a weekly candle is opening bearish in a bear market higher probability lies towards the fact that the rest of the week is going to be bearish guys rest of the week is going to be bearish now this is another kind of analysis that you can do that you can find out about the market your own facts seeing for yourself how the price action is, is behaving onto some um, onto some key time frames right uh, 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 for this example right here what i found out was if the general landscape is bearish and your weekly candle is opening immediately on a bearish perspective and your daily and your first day's price action is turning out to be bearish guys the rest of the week will most likely have a bearish bias right in a bear market in a bear market guys now that was working out right here this is a new trend right here which is why i don't think we have to put a lot of weight into that fact but if we just judge by the trends coming from bitcoin itself yes these are your little teen tiny bits of details that you can maybe think about maybe think about and maybe reinforce all of your uh, biases your own or your own personal biases all right guys holy fucking crap 30 minutes long ramble on bitcoin guys wow man holy crap holy crap let's take a look at ethereum real quick what we are breaking down below so finally it looks to me like we could be making our targets all the way down at 17 50 dollar ranges guys now this one is we this one is weakening guys holy shit ethereum is not looking stressful and remember guys remember remember um I should just simply follow up from yesterday's video. So every single time, every single time, you, not every single time. So this region is being supported, guys. And this one was supported two times with high volatility, guys. This was crazy volatility and we did get supported onto these levels. So essentially, if we come back down here again onto 1750, 1720, all the way down towards the week low right here at 1700 flat. Yes, this is going to be an opportunity, guys. And judging by the RSI trends right here, right now, we don't have that energy right now as as in right now we don't have that energy guys although if we start if if bitcoin puts in a crazy crazy red dildo below thirty thousand dollar levels on a four hour training basis that could signify a lot of thing and that could mean that maybe ethereum could also break down all the way down towards fifteen hundred dollar levels guys look check out the analysis on long term and ethereum uh, on, on long term ethereum videos where i talk about your downside targets potentially supporting uh, uh, ethereum could potentially get supported at 1500 dollar levels but once we start breaking below 1500 dollar levels guys look you know the deal you know the goddamn fucking deal it's going to be thousand dollars guys no more it's going to be thousand dollars per ethereum once we lose 1400 1300 dollar levels guys that's I will most likely take Ethereum all the way below previous all-time high, guys. Because look, we are right here. We're going to be testing previous all-time highs pretty soon. If we are unable to hold that, that would not be good news, guys. That would not be good news. And that would confirm the fact that, yes, this bull run was the shortest, was the smallest bull run in entire crypto history as a whole, guys. And this is new behavior, guys. This is complete new price action behavior, new investor behavior, new market participation behavior essentially complete paradigm shift in crypto trading that is what we could be looking at if we just simply tank down below the fucking previous all-time high just like that guys that would mean a lot of things guys and i think surviving in bear market is not going to be that is it's not going to be exactly like how it used to be in the previous bear market that price action is also going to be different holy shit we're going to be sharpening our edges down the line it looks to me like it's not going to be simple surviving in crypto markets right Okay, guys. Okay. So in the first and the foremost pass, yes, it's going to be supported right here. But essentially what you don't want to see is a fucking 12 hour candle closure below $1,700 uh, dollar levels. Once we start doing that, yep, it's going to look like shit. And most likely we're going to be testing the previous all time highs, guys. That is going to be somewhere alongside. Let me just take a look at this one. Yep. Your all time high is sitting at $1,430. $1,430 is going to be your ultimate retest, guys. And holy crap. Look, guys, you, you know the deal right here. The three day trend is down. 21 exponential is curving down everything is down right here yes your support will make the price action bounce but where the fuck will the price go guys i guess it's going to be all the way about 2200 dollar levels because we are not looking at any strength and we are putting in lows guys now essentially what we really want to do to reward the trend right here is get fucking supported right here and maybe print in a new high above this goddamn stupid high right here guys then we can talk about ethereum going to the upside then maybe we can speculate on ethereum going to the upside until then this is looking like garbage 
this is complete piece of shit and most likely we do continue to the downside guys holy crap guys holy shit and well to be honest with you let's let's talk about this support right here let's talk about uh, let's talk about some relevancy right talking about the previous all-time high and talking about this support range right here yes we do see a lot of activities going on so guys i think once we start losing this one to the downside you see the targets right here is going to be aligning with 1400 the uh, 50 dollar levels which is your previous all-time high right here right until then trend is down everything is down yes your small time frames bounce small to mid time frame bounce could come from 1700 regions and that could take price action all the way down for a retest of 21 exponential guys we are quite deviated from the 21 exponential as of now the last rejection got us deviated by about a 25 percent to the downside and if we continue going testing the support it's going to be taking us 28 percent uh, it's going to be 28 percent deviated from the moving average and guys look these corrections take place now this correction is going to be to the upside and these corrections they take place when we are deviated by about a certain percent from the moving average guys another insight another trader insight which i'm just sharing for free so hit that like as well all right do that do that do that hit that like okay guys all right longest video in a very long time in a very fucking long time and shit i think i'm waning out on my stamina guys i remember from the good old days i think when i used to talk about crypto markets um uh, during january and february i used to make fucking hour long videos and that used to be without any hiccup man holy fucking crap i think things are changing uh, things are getting dynamic I, me as a content creator yep i am also trying to change i guess because i think if a hundred people started watching this video by this time it's only 10 of you who are sitting and watching me ramble about fucking crypto markets right <laughs> but if you're doing that if you're still doing that hats off to you salute to you and I will catch you in the next video tomorrow. Bye for now.